It is perfectly legal to keep a person detained in a detention centre for their entire lives indefinitely. It is perfectly legal to imprison children in detention centres for their whole lives. It's not moral, but it is legal, and that's all our politicians need. The Asylum Seeker Resource Centre has over 500 volunteers. The ASRC currently has volunteers um, ranging in age from 15-year-old um, school students to 85-year-old um, man who helps out in our food program. We see such a broad variety of problems ranging from people with heart disease to people with cancer, and brain tumours, people with diabetes, but predominantly a broad range of mental health problems such as depression and anxiety and stress related to the traumas that these people have been through and continue while in this country. Um, if this centre didn't exist, I'd hate to think what would happen to, to the people who come here. As you know, asylum seekers can't access Medicare and aren't able to work, so they don't have to, the money to buy medication or to see specialists. The Food Bank offers an essential service for asylum seekers and their families who are forced to survive without any income. Uh, this is the room where the volunteers would pack the items for each asylum seeker. And as you can see, sometimes we have a reasonable amount. But today, like on many other days, we don't have one tube of toothpaste, not one toothbrush and no toiletries at all. We are reliant absolutely on donations. And sometimes we do in a position to help them, but quite often we cannot satisfy because the numbers have gone up from earlier 40 a week to almost 80 a week at the moment. We have over 100 legal volunteers and they're fantastic. We have daytime volunteers, they're mainly law students who are um, volunteering here to get some practical experience and also to help in a really concrete way for people to put their cases forward. We also have a nighttime volunteers, they're mainly solicitors and they give up some of the time from their own jobs to, to help out in the night time with more complicated cases, the, the court applications and the sponsorship applications of family members. The drop-in centre provides internet and telephone access, reading material and a children's play area. Hello. For those asylum seekers who have visas allowing them to work, the Asylum Seeker Resource Centre provides an employment service. This service assists them with matters such as resumes, letters, job seeking strategies, interview techniques, qualification compatibility and presentation. As a way of providing employment and showcasing different ethnic cuisines, the centre has established a commercial catering service. Here, food from around the world can be provided to corporate and private customers at competitive prices. English language classes operate in the centre and for those clients who are unable to travel, a home tutoring service is offered. For many asylum seekers, isolation and loneliness can be a crippling condition. The Asylum Seeker Resource Centre Social and Recreational Program has been established to help combat this. What the system does to people is actually make people depressed. You know, they've got nothing to get up for in the morning, they've got no purpose, they don't feel like they're contributing to the community, they're often ashamed that they can't perhaps support their family back in their country. Many asylum seekers are, have had professions in their home country, they've managed to, you know, whatever they've done, they've managed to work and support their families and they find themselves here with nothing to do, um, they're not allowed to even volunteer and that's really soul destroying. We always need the support of the community and our philanthropy, it's always a struggle day to day. We don't get federal government money. We're caring for over 3,000 people. Your support keeps us alive and ensures that asylum seekers always have somewhere to turn in times of crisis. I think it's important to look at the Asylum Seeker Resource Centre and to realise that it exists because 
there are good people in Australia who don't accept what their government's doing.